What is up guys, this is iUpdateOS, and today I'm going to show you how you can get an Android style unlock pattern on your iPhone or iPod Touch. And if you're like me, I'm sure you have friends that both have iPhones and Android phones. And I'm sure they've made mention many times of how they can get this really cool unlock pattern versus a boring number unlock on iPhone and iPod Touch. So the name of this really cool tweak is called Pattern Unlock, which of course makes sense because you will be drawing a pattern to unlock your phone. When you first install it, you will have to head over to settings and set up a passcode, but I've already done that, so I'm going to show you what it looks like as soon as you set it up. When you slide to unlock, it will come up with the really cool looking Android style unlock pattern. Now I have my pattern set up as kind of a backwards L when you slide to the right, but you can set it up however you wish. And you can see that if you do draw the wrong pattern, your dots will flash red and your status bar at the top of your screen will also turn red, telling you that you entered the wrong passcode. So I'm going to go ahead and actually enter the right passcode now so we can head over to settings. So of course to get to the settings panel of this tweak, just head over to settings and then scroll down to the very bottom where all your Cydia tweaks are listed. Then just select the one that says pattern unlock and you'll see a bunch of different things you can configure. So starting from the top, the first thing that you actually can change is your actual pattern. So I'm going to go in here and change my pattern from a right L to like a backwards upside down left L. It will ask you to enter your old pattern first and then of course you can go in and enter your new pattern in the next two screens just to confirm it. And once you set up your new passcode it will take you straight back to the settings of pattern unlock. The next thing is the require pattern section. Now they do have this in the regular passcode lock as well and you know you can set it to 1 minute, 2 minutes to enter it after 5 minutes, so on and so forth and they even added an up to after 4 hours section which I couldn't see any practical use in that but it is included. I've got mine set to immediately just so no one can get into my phone at all. So if you go over to the select theme section, you will see it comes with 5 themes pre-installed which is pretty good for this tweak just starting out. You've got a clear one which of course makes your passcode look clear with the dots. You've got a droid one which makes it just look exactly like android with black dots. And then you've got droid flat which makes that a little le less dark and a little brighter which that's my favorite one, that's the one I've got set on my device. You've got invisible which barely shows your passcode at all except for this minuscule line just so you can see what you're drawing. And then finally you've got the one theme which is how it appears in the screenshots in Cydia. There is another section that says customize selected theme. So when you click there you can always hit preview and it will show you your current theme just the way it looks. Now you can also show the connection line which as you see here it will show a connection line wherever you draw your finger. I personally have that feature turned off but once again it's up to you. And then you can turn it on or off between selected dots, so you can show the line when you draw the connection or if you don't want to show it at all. And it also includes a link to a full theming guide PDF if you're interested in trying to theme this yourself. And if you go under the haptic feedback section, you will see that you can adjust the vibration. You can turn vibration on or off for when you touch a point and when you successfully unlock your device. I personally have both of those turned off myself. And finally, you do get a really cool additional features section. You've got an option bar which lets you have an emergency call button and a back out X, which I have both of those enabled because both of those are very handy. You can also have a really, really cool block device function. Now as you know, a normal passcode lock, I think if you enter the wrong password, passcode six or seven times, it will lock you out for a minute, two minutes, five minutes, and you can lock your device for so long that you'll never be able to get into it without a clean restore. But with this tweak, if you turn the block device feature off, you can enter the wrong passcode unlimited amount of times and you can never get locked out of your device. This is an awesome feature that I'm really glad was included. And finally, you do have an info and usage guide which will take you to another link in Safari or whatever your default web browser is. So guys, those are all the features and functions of Pattern Unlock and if you're interested in getting this tweak, like always, head over to City and then just search Pattern Unlock. It is in the Big Boss repo and you will see that it is $199. Now with all these added features, I would definitely recommend buying this tweak if you've always wanted an Android style unlock. This is a solid tweak and Jonas Gessner did a great job designing it. If you've enjoyed this tweak pattern unlock, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button. And if you have any questions about this tweak at all, please feel more than free to leave your comments in the comments section. Thanks guys and I'll see you in the next one.